Bentley North Melbourne back in 1971, he enlisted with a club that had known nothing but perennial failure. In five years, the sandy-haired wingman from Brunswick did more than most to alter that image. In less than 100 games, Greg won the club's first Brownlow in 1973, followed up with another in its grand final year of 1974, received the MBE for services to football, and had the pleasure of playing in North's first premiership. Greg is a delight to watch, has great pace, and despite serious knee injuries, a superb leap. When Richmond recruited Francis Burke from the failure in 1967, the Tigers had high hopes for the fresh-faced young winger. Little did they realize he was to be a cornerstone of their golden era. With another youngster, Dick Clay, Burke was to set a new style in wing play that was to pay handsome dividends. A premiership in his first year, state honours in his second, and another premiership in 1969 proved Burke's baptism into BFL ranks a fast and furious one. When the Tigers had a surfeit of wingers, Burke was swung into defence and for nearly 10 years has been one of football's most dogged defenders. 34 next week and with 294 games behind him, Francis Burke continues to thrill Richmond with his tenacity and courage. Just over seven years ago, Robert Flower walked into the Melbourne rooms for his first senior game and wasn't even recognised by many of his new teammates. With his pale complexion and thin build, Flower looked anything but a league footballer. Put him on a league ground, however, and the transformation was and still is amazing. The Melbourne captain is probably the most graceful player in football, a speedster with every skill polished to perfection and courage to match. From part-time scoreboard operator at Windy Hill to captain of Essendon's 1962 Premiership team. That was the path Jack Clark took to the top. His career began in 1951, when he sat on the reserves bench next to Dick Reynolds in the grand final. Clark was to emerge as one of the most brilliant centermen the game has seen, playing 266 games for the Bombers and 27 times for his state. The magnificent playing career of Ian Stewart falls neatly into two phases. There was the modest youngster, lured to St Kilda from Tasmania, who quickly became one of the VFL's most skillful and decorated centermen. From 1963 until his shock exit for Richmond in 1970, Ian Stewart played 127 games for the Saints, played a major part in their first premiership and won back-to-back -back Brownlows. Then he started all over again for the Tigers. Perhaps not the dazzling youngster, but the immaculate veteran, who was to play in another premiership and in 1971 take his tally of Brownlows to three. Geelong's twins, Alastair and Stuart Lord, had everyone, including the umpires, confused back in 1962. Reported in a match against Richmond, Alastair claimed the umpires had mixed him up with his identical brother, Stuart. He was promptly cleared and went on to win the Brownlow medal that year by a mammoth nine votes. A brilliant mover, Alastair delivered countless chances to the Geelong forwards with his precise passing. All told, Alastair played 122 games between 1959 and 1965 with his Brownlow...